Hello again, and we are continuing our discussion of algebra. We're going to talk about linear equations for this chapter, so let's start about writing those linear equations. Um, as an example, let's say we have a number and that number is doubled and decreased by 8, and the result is 20. What's the number? So what we need to do is we need to walk through the sentence and convert everything from English to algebra and make an equation out of it. So when we say a number, that's something I don't know, so we're gonna call that X or give it whatever letter you want, uh, just as long as it's not a number because we don't know what that number is yet. Um, when I say is doubled, that means it's been multiplied by two. Decreased by eight, that means that we need to subtract eight. And finally, the result is 20. That means that um, the answer is going to equal 20. So let's put all of that together and I've got x multiplied by 2 subtract 8 equals 20. So I get 2x minus 8 equals 20. Okay, so here's some steps to writing an equation. We're going to identify the variable. Um, that's the thing that we don't know and we're going to give it a name, usually a letter. We're going to translate everything else into algebraic symbols like numbers and pluses and minuses and equal signs. It's going to have to have an equal sign, uh, otherwise we can't solve it. It would just be an expression in that case, and you can't solve expressions. So we need an equal sign. So uh, here we go. If we, uh, if we want to convert something to addition, we're looking for phrases like more than, or increase, or older, or some, or even when we're talking about age, if we're talking about years from now, we would add on to their age. Subtraction, you want to see phrases like less than, decrease, younger, difference, or in terms of age again, how old they were certain years ago. Multiplication, you're looking for words like times, area, value of items, twice, groups of, and division if you're separating into groups or splitting it or factoring. And equals, you're looking for phrases like is or has a value of or is worth. All right, so here's some more examples. Sylvia's age. Uh, five years ago was 26. How old is she now? So S is what I'm using for Sylvia's age. Five years ago means that we have to subtract five from her current age and uh, that equals 26. I have seven batches of cookies plus three extra cookies totaling 87 cookies altogether. How many are in each batch? And so I would let C represent uh, how many cookies are in one batch of cookies. So seven times that plus the three extra cookies would equal 87 cookies. Okay, And normally these can be translated from left to right, but as I mentioned in an earlier video, there's one exception, and it's when I say something like less than. 14 less than a number is 20. What's the number? Well, I don't do 14 minus n because that wouldn't mean the same thing. It's going to be n minus 14, not 14 minus n. Okay, So that means that n minus 14 equals 20. All right. Those are the uh, examples that I have. If you have any questions, please let me know, um, and I will see you tomorrow.